All right, so today we're going to take the top 10 GDI players. We're going to play their GDI decks on ladder, and we're going to see how it goes. So up first, actually, let's go from the bottom. That seems better. But rank one currently, Oaken. What a chad. You love to see it, chat. You love to see Oaken rank one. He works the hardest. He deserves it. All right, so number 10, we're going to be playing Gunner's GDI deck, which is a very standard Razorback slingshot deck. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this deck is just entirely built around Razorback and, and, and Slingshot, to be honest with you. Um, it seems kind of bad against Shock Trooper. Like, it also loses to Slingshock as well, which is super awkward spot to be in. But, you know, whatever. That's our first deck. Let's, let's roll it out, see how it goes. I suspect you're mostly just cheesing missiles with Jump Jet Trooper. That seems like how this deck wins a lot of games. That's how most decks with Jump Jet Trooper win games. I actually really like Jump Jet Trooper with Dog Opening. I wonder if this is meant to be Rifle or Rhino Opening. It might be a Rhino Opener. Let's try Rhino Opener. Yeah, I actually really like Jump Jet with War Factory Opening because if you jump, if you War Factory Opening, especially Dog, if you go like Dog Pitbull and they make Pitbulls, if they make two Pitbulls and then you switch into Jump Jets, it's a big punish for them. So I quite like Dog into into Pitbull with Jump Jets. Um, since he's made a Pitbull, I assume I'm supposed to just chill and make Predator tank. I don't know how if this is going to be too slow. I'm going to try and stall a little bit. Yeah, I want to get stall here because the Predator is slow, boy. He's trying to dance in and out with the... Okay, so he is also Jumpu Jet. Okay, fair enough. Bring this guy across. I should go into the rifles here for the Jump Jets. Uh, my Rhino might win that fight. That Pipple's pretty low. Didn't block me. Unlucky guy. It looks like I'm going to win the missile. Should have blocked. Unlucky. See how dominant this Predator is? Even after he switched into Jump Jets, I still have a Predator. It's almost dead, but I still have it, and it killed one and a half Pitbulls. That's a pretty good result. Might be able to get another Pitbull out of it as well. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, I should make some units. <laughs> this is very dumb to be sitting here with only one unit. Yeah, got another Pitbull out of it. Predator just beats Pitbull by so much. Ages ago, they made a, they made a design decision. Like, before the balance team was all fired, they made a design decision that Predator was going to two-shot Pitbulls, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Because, um, ooh, shock, shock sling, that's the, thing we're, that's the thing we're scared of. I wasn't a huge fan of it because it kind of makes Pitbull, like, utterly worthless against GDI, which is, uh, feels bad. Like, against Predator, it's just so, so bad. It's so unbelievably bad. So, yeah, I wasn't that big a fan of that change. Uh, the design, like, the logic behind it was that Scorpion is just kind of better than Predator Tank, which was true and maybe is still true. And they were like, oh, you know, there needs to be, like, it needs to get something, like, you know. Predator needs to have something going for it. And they decided the thing that I have going for it is it demolishes uh, Pitbulls. But, like, that only really helps you in the GDI mirror, which is kind of awkward. And, um... Predator beats Scorpion. Like that's what that's what Predator has going for it. Is Predator beats up on Scorpion. That's the that's like the big win for Predator is that it beats up Scorpion. I'm just gonna iron cannon him. All right, unlucky my guy. Iron cannon. All right, GG. Gunner deck 100 best deck ever. Razor is picking on you. you he is? Victorious. What is he? Where? Where is Razor picking on you? I don't see it. Is it on the Discord? Online. Unit ready. Well, it's probably just going to be mostly about a Pipple mirror. Although, as I said earlier, if you go dog Pipple Pipple, I think you get punished by shot, uh, by jump jet, like a fair bit. Because the third, the fourth unit is pretty slow in the early game. So what I want to do here, ideally what I'm going to do is make this Pitbull, try and get him to make two, and not really engage that much. That's kind of what I'm looking to do. Like I want him to make second Pitbull so I can go jump jet, yeah, like this. 
And I kind of want to keep my Pitbull alive. And then try and get a jump jet to punish it. He probably has to go shocks. Yeah, there they are. I'll make shocks as well. But you can see that my jump jets have done a lot of damage to his pit bulls. And now I'll just send them up. Yeah, I think the um Oh, almost mislicked it. I think the uh, the jump jet into the double pitbull is such a big punish. I've had it happen to me a bunch of times back when jump jets were way more popular. It is a big punish to have the uh, to have the jump jets come out when you have double pitbull. I probably should have this shock trooper here that came out to the top and almost beat my jump jets. What I should have done is turreted it. That would have been the best thing to do. Like, there was almost certainly a position I could have put down a turret that would have blocked. That would have been a very good play. My, my shocks are going to beat his shots. His shots were already really damaged. Where are you going, bro? There's a mohawk. You love to see it. Exciting times. Guess I'll make a sling. Defense online. Hoping my sling kills his thing in time. Oh my god, it didn't. What a beating! <laughs> I thought my slingshot would kill his uh, would kill his mohawk quickly enough there, but it didn't. Should have probably made jump jets to get on the pad. That would have perhaps been better. The sling is kind of useless now. It's one of the reasons that I fucking hate slingshot. Like, you kill their air unit and then they just AFK. Like, just never make another air unit and you have this, like, paperweight on, on the board. It feels kind of bad to have a paperweight. I guess I'll make a mohawk and then he has to make a sling. And then he has a paperweight as well. It's, it's just mostly about shocks, it looks like. Because neither deck has anything that beats shock, really. Yeah, neither deck really has anything that actually beats shock. So it's just about it's just about a shock mirror. Which I did not realise quickly enough. He just spammed shocks and I was too I was too far behind. Mostly because I have this paperweight. Like this fucking slingshot paperweight. I mean I can't make enough shocks. MDS1. King of the pop cappers. I don't know if he pop caps on Nod. I know he just pop caps on GDI to base kill people with Kodiak. Two, one. I think he plays Giga Cannon on Nod, but I'm not sure. This deck looks kind of awkward, like a dog opening with Predator, no Pitbull, no Rhino. And Peter's deck didn't have missiles, I don't think. I think Peter's deck had Pitbull instead of missile. He's gone buggy opening, so Rob's just going to go Predator. If he's got buggy opening and he's playing Kane, it seems reasonably likely that he's going to be a Scorpion deck, but we'll see. Uh, we have Shock, so we're just going to Shock here. Need to keep the Predator nearby to fight off the buggy. Nope, shoot this. Hems, now that is unexpected. You can just spam, you can out spam chems with shocks pretty easily. Because the shocks move faster and are cheaper. So the best way to beat chems is just to keep making shocks. I don't know why he keeps making the lasers. 
Make a second predator, hope he doesn't change, switch into buggy, or banshee, sorry. He almost certainly will now. And then I'll be in trouble because I'll be pop capped. Yeah, that is that is how rivals work. Actually not that far off sling now. It's going to be pretty tough for him to beat this. This deck seems pretty weak to just like slingshot plus shock plus a predator tank. If he, he's got he's got like venom and buggy as his anti-infantry, so he can't really beat a sling plus a pred plus some shocks. I guess he has chem as well, which I need to be ready for, so I should make more shocks. He does have scorpion. All right, that makes sense. It would also like it's reasonable that he didn't make the scorpion before because it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't going to be good. So his best ping is going to be Obelisk, obviously. Obelisk shuts down Predator Tank. That's how he wins this game, is Obelisk. I guess by me being locked into a useless slingshot and a predator, he can now just make enough chems that it overwhelms my shots. I see. I mean, this is again this classic rivals, right? Like I, I, I've won repeatedly on the board, but. The game just refuses to let me make units, so now I sit here, like, slowly losing. I think chems are too expensive for this plan to work, though. Like, you can't just infinitely spam chems, because they cost too much. So eventually he just runs out of money and it doesn't work. But I imagine he's going to save up for an obelisk. That's what the game will really come down to, will be the obelisk. Make an Orca Bomber, because that seems good if he makes the Obelisk. Alright, looks like it's just a free win. My deck just kind of counters his completely. Like, Obelisk is the only way he wins, because he can't. He just can't beat Predator Sling. So... Yeah. <laughs> he, needs, he, needs, uh, he needs to have Obelisk to win that. Alright, up next is going to be Raging Tron. Now, Raging Tron has a very different style of deck. Whoa, what is this nonsense? Where's where's classic Raging Tron? All right, well normally Raging Tron plays an MLRS deck, which I would have preferred to whatever this is. It looks like I'm playing Zone Trooper Liang. Yikes. All right, Raging Tron switching it up this season. So this is just this is just Razorback Missile and then you try and save enough money to become Zone Razorback. And that's the entire deck. If uh, if you if you if that's not good, your deck is terrible. I actually don't know. I don't understand how he ever beats a slingshot. So I'm not really sure how he plays this deck. Like, this deck seems like an auto lose to slingshot because you only have like you literally just a Razorback missile deck. If something can shut down your Razorback, it's over. Like you can't win. So I'm really surprised. <laughs> really surprised. This is the deck he has that many games with. Luckily, we're playing against Nod. Which, uh, if we're playing against Slingshot, I think it's just, I don't know how you ever win. Nod means they don't have Slingshot, so we can avoid that. But yeah, this deck. This deck looks like it can't beat Slingshot. Maybe he uses Orca to fight Slingshot, but that's pretty tough. That's a pretty tough sell. Buggy opening. Um, I guess we go into Orca? Yeah, we go into Orca. I'll make a missile to try and dissuade the first Buggy from pushing me. Okay, he's made two buggies, sure. I'm not sure another missile is even a good play, to be honest with you. I feel like it might not be. Although, he shot the rifles, which meant that I was actually able to kill one of them. That seems bad for him. I'm just going to go Orca, because I'm already pretty close to Orca, and the missile hasn't been charged that much. And my deck is Razorback Missile, so... Like, that's what I want to be making. Awaiting orders. 
I don't think I can get the Razor back in time, sadly. So I think we just always lose this missile. Uh, I could try and fly over here. Shoot this. Oh, there I could have made the Razor back. That was a misplay. I should have made the Razor back there. This actually isn't going that badly, surprisingly. Get the Razor back. He doesn't have a good anti-air unit. Wow, we actually might win the missile. He doesn't look like he has anything good to kill the Orca. He's Banshee, sure. That should be fine. As long as we can kill this chem. Anytime today. There we go. Alright, cool. Managed to heal up our units as well, which is exciting. Like, at least a little bit. Got a lot of money here. Definitely need to start making orcas. Mm, actually can't really make the orca into the buggy and banshee combo. Gotta make missiles until I clear up some of it. Alright, now we're getting Orca because he's gonna make buggy. Oh, that's chems. It's gotta be a buggy somewhere, right? There it is. Oh, I have people in my deck. I should probably be making one of those. Ah, missed my credit. What is my people doing though? I was trying to tell it to go to this tile, and it just kept bouncing and going back here, which I didn't really understand. Like, it, it should have had an easy line of movement up there, so I don't really know why it wasn't doing it. Oh well. Should really have won that missile. I haven't really got anything to spend my money on, although I guess him jade missile in my army gives me something to spend my money on. You've got tank? Oh no. It's gonna suck. Oh, I have a zone trooper. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, there's nothing to spend my money on. What am I supposed to spend my money on? I remember I have a zone trooper in my deck. Oh, but he has gates, so zone trooper isn't even good. That's upsetting. That's a shame. I just spent a m bunch of money on a zone trooper and immediately got it killed. That's just nothing. I think I'm gonna lose now, maybe. It's definitely not looking great. Let's actually charge the missile a bit more and see if we can do the old flippy flips. Yeah, alright, cool. <laughs> it's kind of a close game. Yeah, no, I forgot. I forgot there were zones in my deck. I, I should have made zones in, like, second missile. I could have made, like, two zones in that game pretty easily. Which would have probably made it a lot easier. Alright, next is Substance Gyron with some APC deck. What is this? Hang on a second. I want to play the one that has the most games. This is the one. The one with 51. That's what I'm looking for. Not this one with 10. This one here. Alright, so we've got an APC Razorback deck. I like an APC. APC got over nerfed. There was like no reason for APC to get as nerfed as it did. It was an absolutely ridiculous over overreaction when APC got nerfed. Now the unit is just not very good because it got so nerfed. Which was completely unnecessary. In case you guys don't know my opinion on APC nerf, I thought it was an unnecessary nerf. I feel like they nerfed it too much. Just in case I wasn't clear by saying it several times. APC nerf bad. 
Establishing battlefield control. Three, two, one. The objective MDS one again. All right, so he's playing a tank deck. Building online. Ready for action. Engineer, reporting for duty. He's playing tank buggy, so he's probably gonna open buggy. I guess we'll do this. Maybe he isn't gonna open buggy because he thinks he knows my deck now. Although I've changed commander, so I've clearly changed deck. He's open tank. That is an odd choice. That is a very odd choice. I don't know why he would open tank. Well, I mean, I'm going to make a predator because that beats his tank. And it also beats his buggies. Very odd choice to open tank. If you expect rhino opening, then tank opening makes sense. That's about it, I think. It's, it's nonsense to open Scorpion unless you expect a Rhino opening. I have to, have to put this guy over here. Should have put a turret down when I had the chance. Here we go. There's an opportunity to get a turret down. And we'll block the laser in so it has to get hit by the turret. Alright, there's first missile. Turret is so good, man. Honestly, turret is insane. I don't want this low hit point predator that badly. But predators do still have 100% DPS at one hit point, so I probably should hang on to it for a bit. I'm gonna go Razor back instead of making APC here. I feel like APC is... It leans into his cane a little bit too much, which is already his best unit against me, like his best thing against me. Yeah, that was a misclick. That was supposed to be a pit bull. That's pretty bad for me. That is really awkward. There's the cane you should done last game. Oh, am I gonna get the flips? Insane, you love to see it. You are victorious. Alright, no half MG. Same map, unfortunately. This is the guy who surrendered immediately. This is not a good no half MG map because there is not a place where an MG can cover the board easily. You've got to kind of put it in the middle here and then hope that you can block them out from going down. That's sort of what you have to do with no half MG on this map. Like you put it sort of here and you try and block them from going downwards with their M with their uh, with their units because the MG is there. I guess we'll get another missile and then we save up for Pitbull most likely. Depends what he makes. If you know or oh, snipers, ugh. snipers are kind of annoying. Snipers are pretty good against no half MG. Make another dog then. The thing is, the actual snipers are not that great at clearing a, a borrowed MG, but they are good at clearing the missiles that are your best blocker. So that's kind of the problem with uh, with playing against snipers when you're no half MG. I should probably make a second MG considering we're against snipers. We're against snipers, which A means that he can maybe clear an MG, which means we should get a second one. And B, it means he's less likely to have a heavy anti infantry air unit. Because if he did, um, if he did, he probably would be playing that instead of snipers. Whoa, that, that MG went down so fast. Holy crap. That is actually shocking to me. The MG must have been injured, because a healthy MG that's borrowed does not die in one volley. Um, I'm probably dead now? Let me just spam dogs, right? That's what you do. When you know how MG and you're losing, you just start spamming dogs and hope that you win. That's kind of the that's kind of the way. Yeah, I think, I think that's what's going to happen. We're just going to spam these dogs and we're going to win. 
Yay. Now, no half MG. Classic. Classic strategy. Objective complete. And we're going to be playing his <laughs> Pred Shock Jump Jet deck. Kind of a theme in the top 10 decks. A lot of Preds, a lot of Jump Jets, a lot of Shocks. Andre, right. Building online. You think Flint would be disappointed? Oh, really? Well, Flint would be disappointed, but a normal human being would probably be quite happy. Flint would be disappointed because he'd be like, oh, it's only $40,000. Rip. Whereas a normal person would be like, oh my god, my cards are worth $40,000. I think all beta MTG cards in good condition are worth some amount of money. I'm not sure about that. I think, yeah, he probably does. <laughs> I think even the garbage cards are worth a decent amount of money if they're alpha or beta. I'm pretty sure about that. I don't think you need to have like power nine to have to have good income uh, from MTG if you have beta cards. Uh, I'm a little worried about this air tower. I assume this is going to be an orca, which would be bad for me. But we'll find out pretty soon. Could be drone swarms. It is, in fact, Orca as predicted. This deck does not have missiles, it has Talon. So I guess I'm supposed to use Talon to fight Orca. Yeah, it looks like I'm supposed to use Talon to fight Orca. He really boosts his Orca a lot, doesn't he? Big, big boosty fan here. You can blame him. Maybe if we gave Talon Frontal Raider, it would be a decent unit. I don't know. I think that's like, that's what Talon needs. Another Orca. Another Orca! I'm just going to make Talons then, I guess. Because I am hashtag talented. Alright, GG, my guy. That game was not remotely close. I mean, my opponent went double harvester and then just died, so... Destroyed. All right, next up is Silas, who is, of course, playing Grenadier Razorback, which he's been playing for, I want to say, like, 1,000 years now. It's something like that. It's about 1,000 years. Like, dinosaurs walked the earth when Silas first started playing this deck. I don't know why he plays McNeil. McNeil is such a bad commander, but that, that's the deck he's playing, so that's what we're doing. Establishing battlefield control. We have indeed played Puerto Rico. Three, two, one. New objective available. Wizard Master Weed. Alright, it looks like we're a rifle opener. Oh, I haven't got emotes because I'm McNeil. Boo! This was your deck, Grape? I believe it. This is the, the Great Boy Razorback deck, that's what we're going to call it. Yeah, this was the deck you started playing like a year ago. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go Pitbull. How is Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico is one of those games that was designed too long ago and it doesn't really hold up that well in my opinion. It's like it's like a very popular game. It's like considered one of the one of the, like a really good game. Uh, it's one of those ones that's like old but has really high ratings. But yeah, it doesn't hold up that well. It's like the whole, pretty much the whole game is attempting to do as much as humanly possible before you're forced to produce. Because if you produce, you get absolutely ruined. Like the game is not that well designed and it's set up in such a way that if you produce resources, you immediately get destroyed basically. So a lot of the game is like, I need to do as much as possible before I produce. Because if I have to produce, then I'm in trouble. So basically the first the first person who presses produce the first person who runs out of stuff to do and has to produce um gets absolutely ruined and everyone else gets like a massive bonus out of it pretty much 
At least that was our experience of playing Puerto Rico. Mm, I'm doing pretty well in this game. I could see myself losing to the pop cap issues here. Got an unhealthy Pitbull and an unhealthy Gren. An unhealthy Razorback. These could be problems. I could go Razor. I could go a sling against the Talons, but honestly, I think it's worse than just making Pitbulls. Mostly because of the shape of the map. The shape of the map is such that Slingshot is going to be a little bit awkward, so I think it's better to just have mobility here. Yeah, it looks like I'm in pretty good shape. This Razorback is, is going to be a GG. Yup. A classic deck. Still still good. Razorback is good. Gren is okay. Pibble is great. You are victorious. Alright, up against Aspie. This looks like a Rhino opening deck. I feel like we've already played this deck. No, this one has Drone Swarm. We definitely haven't played Drone Swarm before. Don't really know why anyone would play Drone Swarm in this meta. I think that card is... I think that unit is quite weak right now. Definitely not a Drone Swarm lover at the moment. I don't think I'm going to make the second Rhino yet. I'll wait until I see if he makes the second Missile. The fact that he fought me makes me want to make a Rhino less. Alright, he did make... He made way more Missiles. We have Rifles, so... Although the Rhinos can beat the missiles, like, why fight with a soft counter when I can just make this super cheap hard counter? Plus, he's, like, pretty pop-capped on missiles, so it's going to be tough for him to respond to the Rifleman. And then once we take position, we can also leave our Rhino there and he can't move into it, so that's pretty good. Alright, if he's going to go snipers, we'll just make a bunch of Rhinos, because obviously we know the snipers can't beat them. So he spent a bunch of money on an anti-infantry unit and he can't beat my Rhinos. MLRS will obviously beat my Rhino, but will it beat it in time? I suspect the answer is no, because I've already won the missile. This deck looks pretty bad against MLRS. I've got jump jets, but they're horrible against snipers. Uh, so I'm a little concerned. Well, the MLRS went up. Let's see if we can push these snipers. Right, back up a little. I'm going to probably just end up iron cannoning it. Like, if I can get the Sniper and the MLRS together near the end of the missile, that would obviously be the best case scenario. That's really what I'm looking to do here. Really, really pushing me with this MLRS. Alright, here we go. We've got an opportunity to do it. Probably it should be game over, honestly. As long as I can block, I didn't block. I messed it up, chat. That was that was a free win. Oh, it looks like it's a free win anyway? Okay, it's a free win anyway. Alright, GG. Just stayed away from his uh, his two card combo that I couldn't beat until I could iron cannon it. Okay, and then finally we have our Lord and Saviour, Oaken Good Player. Rank number one. Let's go, Oaken. Absolute Giga Chad. It is, of course, an MG deck, and we need to we need to play this one pretty quickly. We need to we can't play two games because if we hit Tiberium League, our MG is not high enough level to play anymore. <laughs> I only have a level 13 MG, so I can only really play it in Masters. And Swaggles again. All right. I have no idea how this matchup is going to go. I suspect not great. Decent map for us. We need to be... I mean, it's going to be tough to avoid the turret on my MG. Given that I know he opens dogs, I'm going to just go missiles into MG, I think. Question is, do I want to make a second missile or do I just go straight into MG? I think I go straight into MG. He did go do two dogs. I wasn't expecting him to go two dogs. Yeah, I wasn't expecting two dogs. I would have gone two missile if I thought he was going to go two dog, but I thought he was going to go, um... Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd be able to avoid uh, turret on my MG. That was just the way that goes. 
But he spent quite a lot on his uh, on his turret, so he probably can't tech switch that quickly. Oh, there it is. Let's get the Rhino now. And the idea here is we're just going to fortress up with our MG on this pad over here. And then I guess we'll make an Orca. No, I'll probably just make a Pitbull. I want to block where he wants to put turret. I'll try and put a unit there. Oops. I'm surprised the MG died, honestly. Brilliant. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> it's kind of rude, but whatever. Like, yeah, I messed up. I encounter my own Rhino. He's gonna, you know, I give him the oops and he's going to fucking smack talk. It's kind of rude. All right, well, we're probably dead now because we lost the MG positioning, which is, uh, is pretty important. Yeah, I mean we're dead. Well, I, I messed up the uh, I messed up the iron cannon, obviously. I also didn't think my MG was gonna die bottom. I should have had the missiles in front of it. I didn't play that game very well. But all right, there you go. Top ten GDI decks. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.